Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully created the mocker logger service and we have applied that mocker logger service to this calculator service. And also we are able to spy on the method log method so that how many times it has been called. So we have successfully able to set up. Right now, if you try to see the code, here, if you try to see these two lines, six, sixth line and the seventh line. So here we are creating as a spy object and also we are creating the new calculator instance so that we are sending this marker logger service as in, uh, injecting into this calculator service fine and when we are trying to do this subtract two numbers also here here also the same thing these two lines are repeated again okay so these two lines and these two lines are repeated again so these two lines are doing one and the same what is it trying to do it is trying to create the spy object and it is trying to send it to calculator service so now we are trying to repeat this one why can't we make why can't we make it single place only so instead of repeating this one in the two test cases why can't we write in the one place so that two test cases can use of those things so we can do it like that uh, we can do it for that one so we know that we have a method that is uh, life cycle method before each so the before each what it will try to do is whenever we are whenever this test case any test case is running so any test case before running any test case the before each will be executed and then afterwards only the test case will be executed so let's try to implement this before each. So if I try to implement this before each here. So this is the before each method. And in this before each method, let's try to copy these two lines and paste it here. And now another thing we need to understand is so these mocker logger service and calculator, these two variables, we need to use it in these two cal in these two test cases. So that means these two are different different functions, and before each is a function. So the variable which we declare in this function, it will be useful in this function only. So it should not happen like that. So let's create a variable at the top. Let mock logger service. It is of type any. And another one is let calculator. So we know that calculator, it is of type calculator service, right? So we can use the calculator service. That's it. So mock logger service and calculator we have created. And we need to make use of these variables. So how can I use here? I can remove this one so that these variables will be referenced here. That's it. We have created the before each method and this mock logger service. Now there is no need for these two lines. We can remove these two lines now here. So before each will be executed before running this test. And after executing this before each, this mock logger service and calculator variables will be instantiated initiated. And here we can we can so mock logger service will reference to this variable, and also here the calculator will be reference to this variable. In the same scenario, we can also remove this subtract. Okay, so we can also remove this subtract, and let's try to see the other seat. So we have removed, and this mock logger service and this calculator is referencing to the before each. So now we have kept the two lines of code one in one place before each so that our test case is very clean so we are not repeating our code so now let's try to run it so if i try to run it npm test so let's try to see that whether all the test cases are running properly or not so the changes what we have made you need to work properly let's check it so here the test case has been successfully executed and if you try to see here this is our calculator service and these two calculator service are executing properly Okay, what is happening here? So another time I will tell you before executing any test case, each time this before each will be executed. So let me try to give the console.log and I will try to show you. So here I will try to do calling before each. Okay, and here calling add. Sorry, add. And here calling subtract. That's it. Now let's try to see in the console. So what is the solution you're getting? So here the console, if you try to see, first it is calling the before each. So when it, whenever it is calling the before each, it will insta it will initiate the mock logger service and calculator. And here calling su calling subtract is called. And then again calling before each is called. Again calling add is called. So that means before executing any test case, it is calling this before each method. So that means the ins that the object whichever is using this add to numbers calculator object is different from this calculator so the, the, these two test cases these two test case tests are not sharing the calculator here so whenever this test is executing so it is having a new object 
created for this new calculator service for this test and for this test also so this is how we need to keep it independent of this independent of this test case each test case should be independent of each other so it should not depend on another test case so for example if, if this test case is dependent on another test case means so then we are not then you need to understand that we are not writing the isolated and good unit test so every unit every test should be independent to each other so that is the main thing you need to understand so here also the same thing is happening so every time whenever this test case is executing so we are having a new mocker logger service we are creating and also we are creating a new instance object so here this is this, this test case is making use of this one and in the same scenario the second test case also is making use of this new calculator instance so this is how we are keeping the test test independent to each other so we should not make the tests to it dependent on each other okay so that 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 comes under the that does not comes under the isolation thing so these are isolated to each other so this is how we can use this before each setup method so we are also having before all after each and after all so these are all we have discussed in the jasmin complete course tutorial if you want to know more about the setup and tear down life cycle methods so you can go there and you can see this one so uh, this is all about this before each method so hope you understood about this before each dividing the code uh, using this before each so how we can divide the code repetitive code using the before each so this is how we will be doing it if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also one thing i want to say you is this all code is hosted in the github so the github your repository url is provided in the description below if you want to get this code and all those things means the complete code I have given it in the GitHub repository, and here is our GitHub repository. And if you go here, you will be able to see Angular unit testing. So this is the Angular unit testing, and here if you try to see, we have created all the branches. So for every video, whatever the video we are trying to see, I am creating all the branches for that one, so that for that particular video, whatever the code we have written, so it will be available in this particular branch. So wherever you want, you can go it. So the main code has the main branch has the updated code. So if you want the updated code for this uh, angular unit testing you can go here so if you want to know about this one so here uh, for that particular video so the fifth video if you want to see means you can go to this fifth branch and you can take the clone and you can see it okay so this is how so i am keeping this all the repository uh, this all the code in the repository if you want to go means you can go here and here in the app if you try to see now uh, where is this one so wh what is the thing we have written in the source in the app okay this one is the fifth video right if you go to the main so let's try to see it app and here you will have the services and this is the calculator so what we have created so this is a spec.ts what is what we are right currently writing so you can go here and you can get it okay so this is all about the calculator service so the github repository is provided in the url below you can in the description below sorry so you can get that url and you, you can clone the code so that's it about this uh, uh angular uh, this one before each method as usual if you uh, if you like my video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you